Okay, hello and welcome back. This is a, another part of the Christian's Grand Campaign. Uh, from what I remember last time, we were setting up to ready to pounce on Athens and then obviously I've got a guy moving over to Patavium. Well, uh, Noria. I might move him down as well actually. So we'll actually wait a turn until they get there because Sparta. But Sparta and Athens obviously allied. I've got these guys sitting there waiting as well. We've just taken this off Epirus. So we've got to wait. For okay, maybe we'll wait a couple of turns until these things have been built. And Athens do have forces here as well, actually. Uh, forces. 12 Okay Let's check this then um, All of these maximum they're currently building but and these guys okay so these should be done next turn then we can start moving them. okay okay that's it these guys are moving over so we do that first before we do anything so let's wait actually let's wait a few turns wonder what these guys are doing then I think that was the extra forces that we had at Bactria near that front, so we're moving them back so they can cover Ankara, their home province. So, not that. It'll take them a while to get back there, but at least we can use them to... If we can actually try and attack these guys while they're all sitting there, it might be alright. You may pounce on them now. So if we can get most of their forces... Wraps up. Near where Pelu is, then we'll have a look. We'll consider it. You have been blessed. Always quickly save it if it goes tits up, just load up again. But Pergamon, aka <laughs> Troy, I suppose it is. But should be called Pergamon Reborn. I may attack them, actually. They're not the best units ever. So, but let's see what else we can research. Okay, we've done that one. make over to here actually agriculture and we can do the top tier of that and this is troops we can do attack for melee defense 17 turns or oh, we've got this route I'd say probably that one actually let's go this way and then we finish that off uh check this first these guys are done so it's moving up to Sinope it's because of them guys that's a bit annoying Okay, now they can protect that, and they can join, because obviously Sparta shall be attacking, I would assume, here. Um, he should be alright there, I think. Let's check the paths for these guys, and then I'll come back, save it, and then we'll attack.
Oh, that's it. Pergamum. So maybe we can't. I think I'll do it anyways. I'll quickly save it. See if uh, who gets involved and who doesn't. Uh, if they do get involved, I'll just load it back up again. Okay. Because these guys are going to take a while until they get out there. If not, I'm going to have to dive out the one which is in the water at the moment. Okay. War. Excellent. That's very good. To the afterlife, Charon will be busier than a temple prostitute at Carthage. Okay, that's just that ambush, so... Alliance Broken, Pergamon, Athens, Sparta and Athens, but they obviously, I don't want to piss them off too much, these other guys. Okay, let's take these out. Let's do it again. Come on, you bastards. Okay, we'll at least get them. I think we took both of them there, that's cool. Okay, so that's wiped. Uh, they're the weaker ones, so they come back. These are stronger, but obviously... Let's get them waiting there anyways, because they need to replenish. These guys can attack the missile. Okay, I'm going to talk to Pergamon and see if we can try and get anything with them. Because I don't need to attack them, it's obviously Sparta I need to. Should be alright, I think we've just ta taken out the main forces of theirs, so I don't need to move that guy up at the moment. Um, yes, let's check this now. Oh, a lot of people, because me. Uh, Pokemon, and then obviously Sparta as so. well. considering they're still really favourable with me. Um, Athena give you wisdom, so that you may speak well and persuade me of your cause. So that's be cool. Welcome. They're cool, and let's check Sparta. They are as well. Obviously, not as friendly as other guys, but. Greetings, honored guest. I serve as my people's ears and tongue, listening and speaking as will please. So it's only us that. Yep, so we can attack them. Let's take it, Athens. We can take them on them, which is cool. And then go from there so let's end the term okay that uh, worked out a lot better than I thought it would but either way we send them two units back over they're on their they're moving anyways towards Pergamon just in case they do kick off but we can always send them back towards Bactria when we attack them so it's not a problem
My honorable master would have me talk of gold. A lamp sum would ensure his good yeah. opinion. Uh, let's count off for that. And do that payment of lower. I oh, fuck it, just do it. I've got loads of money, anyways. So is that faction destroyed? Magician Kingdom have finally been fucking pissed off. No, stop it! Oh my life! Just send no, send him there. Why is it so derpy sometimes? Really, you do make me get very angry. Why is it a zone? It's my my bloody settlement. Fuck you know. Derp derp, derp derp derp. For the tribe. For the tribe. We can't see. We take the settlement for the tribe. I assume it's gonna be plain sailing after we took out their forces. So let's take Athens. Ephra should be done soon as well, hopefully. Stick them there, ready to take Sparta. Obviously they've got a... Uh, I think it's Ephra's who've got a spy here to keep doing stuff, because obviously none of this is going down. But what can I do? But we should be getting a lot more money now from this as well, which is good. Happy days. And we'll shuffle some of the guys around. I remember the. Let's do that, and then the other agent, I think, increase. Yeah. Okay, I think it's the same again, really. Uh, obviously, if I remember, it's Italy we need to take to finish off the campaign. We've still got um, 50, 30 settlements left, but the only one we do need to get now is this when we attack Sardes. Obviously, the Seleucids will be in power, so we need to take them out. That would get oh god, look how many forces they've got there. So that'd be a good. Uh, Hopefully enter the campaign because you'll obviously take on that massive superpower. I've got allies as well will help me, but I can at least take this. Hopefully Pokemon might join as well. So it's four segments from that. And obviously Seleucids. But obviously, first off, we're going to take Italy. We need to obviously attack Rome and then obviously Sparta. But that's another like five, six segments at least from them. Oh, okay, they got that as well. Well, we can push for a peace treaty and leave them with that or something. It doesn't really matter as long as you actually get the settlements in Italy. So, yeah, quickly finish, wrap this up, and then we we'll start shipping forces like, up to the north and to these settlements as well so they can cross over. They can land there. This one's a bit annoying because you have to land all the way around the boot. Obviously, I've got two, two of them to push down as well, so we can try and link them up. So, let's end the turn. Um, we can also attack Batria to regain some more settlements as well, but to be honest, I think we'll get an uh, easy game 30 of the ones we need to attack, the factions we need to attack to get the two uh, campaign settlements, provinces though, spin it up, the ones I need to win the campaign basically. And hopefully we can increase our Imperium as soon as I can do another I two armies. 
I seek coin as token of your good and continued friendship. Yeah, fuck it. I feel it helps, didn't it? I think one thing about this campaign I've been very happy with is per Pergamum. They've generally been at my side. Yeah. So there's still a spire there, isn't there? Lurking around. Still has horses, I'd say. Zuku's and um. Decent horses as well. Ah, uh, let's just leave it at that. And then we leave them guys in there. So Athens are take being taken out now. The statue of Zeus at Olympia. We have captured wonder. People come from far and wide to gaze upon its magnificence. Sure do. Yes, yeah, so I've only got them little ones now, which is good. Uh, probably have to wait until these things have been built up. So about a couple of turns, and then we can shift them over. Hell, can move. Yeah, he can move over to Epidamos. I'm going to have to guide these ones because they don't seem to want to do it themselves properly. Yeah, this is going to be a while until we get to 14, but... Say that one. And then we could do the missile one later on. Yeah, these guys are moving up. I think I sent him to Cabalo. Yeah, there we go. So you can sit there. Like I said, I could always move them back when I decide to attack Bactria, but it's not going to be for a little while at least, so... I start pushing against Sparta in a minute. Once the settlements Athens and that sort themselves out, your public order. Hopefully, Epirus get wiped out in a minute. Cause they seem to be having food shortage for God knows how long. And obviously, they got Spire that causing havoc. Get Pella. General is dired. Another general is dired. Epirus, finally. Someone tried to commit arson as well. So these things are going to start building down that pillar, which is good. Okay, let's start sorting these things out. Well, might as well move this guy back. He can go towards Ida. And then these beams. Well, we've got loads of bloody money. And we've got these two eventually. We'll get there. Again, and turn. Um,
I think, I'm not too sure if we have got Meech access, because I know they have, Pergamon, with us, because obviously they'll be trespassing right now. But if we have got Meech access, we might be able to, the two forces I've got um, near them, on the eastern front, I can uh, just push through their lands and attack Bratcher from the north, where the Rocks of the Army normally are, uh, on the north of the map. And obviously the other ones I've got, uh, obviously not as many, I've got three I think, still where Bratcher are now. So we can kind of loop, it's pinned to attack maybe, there's always enough of a possibility. Fucking hell, another general dead. And the scout is dead. Okay, let's check where the war maiden is. Without Archie, war maiden. You're there, so let's stick a scout. And we'll stick him in that army next turn. Let's build that up. Uh, possibly cannot move them yet. Give it one more turn, I'd say. These guys are moving up anyways, aren't they? What else is there? I've forgotten now. Oh, that's the thing. The fleet's been done as well, isn't it? So... Might as well build another one. Where can we stick these guys? Let's stick them... Um, in Athens. Oh, we can only build that. Oh, that's a bit nice. Then we can build the better ones, can't we? Maybe you can't move this faction. Yeah, you only get shit ones. Let's have a look. Yeah, because we've only got one fleet, to be honest. Um, and we've got plenty of dough. Hmm. Might as well stick another one in here then. Let's get them building. They might not be used that much, so. Okay, they can dock themselves now. Thank God. And then they can start pushing towards Sparta as well. Okay, that'll be done in one turn, so the rest are Sparta. Let's see what happens. Four, so we're all right, okay. This guy's just been standing there all the time. Oh, fair enough. Let's get him in the water. He can't move yet. Is to us all. I live to serve the making camp. 
There's the, there we go. Let's get them ready. Let's start attacking in a minute. Break alliance with them. These brazen fools nope. deserve only death. Okay, finally stuff at Pella has been done. So these can go to Epidamus as well. That'd be the port of call. I think we'll link them up. We're gonna have to obviously. I think Rome's only got that now, anyways. So we'll see who Rome's allied with first. But well, in a minute. So we've got five at the moment, potentially six. Obviously we quit that but we can't leave well, we might have to leave that one there because they can quickly go across, can't they? Um, we do have these two pushing up, so I'll say on the next turn, because they should be within striking distance. I'll stick him here. And he'll be Epidamus. So, I'll get these guys to about there, so two turns, and then we'll start attacking. Because obviously, one turn to get there, and then we can get them to land and quickly attack. These guys could potentially go straight for Neopolis anyway, so we'll see how it goes. We've got that as an option. And then we're going to check in the next turn who um, is allied with Rome, because we can attack them as well. We have simple needs. All we ask is a small amount of wealth. Well, sir, I've got like 75 grand, so it's worthwhile to save the money, really, isn't it? Doesn't really matter, does it? Scouts ranked up. That's good. Oh, I think it might have to be cunning because there's three of them. Ain't nothing else, is there? Row, 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 you boat gently down the stream. Yeah, it's when it's the distance I just covered them, we're going to have to wait a good turn, anyways. So these other two guys can set up as well, which is good. He can maybe do something at some point. He'll be round by Athens in a couple of turns. That f fleet can uh, maybe attack Brindisham. Oh, 
okay, so they're pretty much ready, which is cool. One of them will probably get sent over, so... The spirits have noticed that our treasure stores are wanting. Can you help with this small matter? Yeah, you go for it, mate. Nick all my money. Yeah, so the guy Apollonia, we can just move across now, so he can join in as well. And the two that... I don't know. We'll see, uh, actually, because they're... Sh I see what army is... I see what units are in that army. If it's a weaker one, obviously they can be a defensive guy, and then the two new units, two new army stacks, um, one of them can go over. Because I'd rather the stronger units than the weaker ones, obviously. Especially against the Spartans. This is Sparta. Yeah, they're weaker, so, okay. These guys are closer, so let's get them in the water. And he can go to Epidamus. So them two are defensive. And these in the next turn should be landing. And Spartans, you best be scared. Okay. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to quickly see what needs building first. I don't think anything. Do that maybe. Uh, minus that, we need to check the premises. Sparta for Rome actually. So yep, yeah, we can take that. They've only got one settlement anyways, and they will then not allied with anyone. Same again. Sweet. So in the next part, and in the next turn, we will be attacking. We have got five currently army, full army stacks ready to attack, six prime ready, two defending. So I don't think there's going to be any problem. We should be able to, one, two, three, four, five, six settlements, we should be able to sweep. So six more to list, and that's early done. Uh, obviously through the money, and hopefully nearly getting more Imperium we will be able to get a couple more army stacks. If not, we'll just spam another fleet or two and then get them ready for Seleucids because we could actually use the fleets against here. They've got three settlements we can attack at least already on that bit. So we'll get the fleets to join in with this. We can take that settlement, that take uh, Cyprus and then Taurus and Antioch. Well, the rest of the guys will obviously move again back over. <laughs> And we can get ready for these guys. If not, we'll attack Bactria, one of the two. We could potentially get some of these guys to help us out as well. So, let's see. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that part. And I'll see you all in the next part.